Hey, what's going on? This is Roj, your league manager, and I am going to make a short tutorial video on how to adjust lineups and do other things here on fantasy basketball. So I'm just going to uh, get some music going first. Got my uh, Drake album. No, y'all love that. Anyways, um, so here's our homepage. Hopefully you've been here before. I hope you have. <laughs> um, got all your divisions and your division standings on this side. And we've got our transactions and stuff uh, right here. So different free agent pickups and trades. So uh, basically if you go up here, go my team, you, sh you will probably be using this a lot. There's a few different things you can do here. Um, obviously adjust your lineup, but uh, a couple other things as well is that you can go ahead and take a look. If you click on research, it tells you basically like a player rating for your players for last year. And uh, this percent own is at the average across all the leagues on ESPN. Basically, how many percent of people own this player? So, 99.5% of leagues, Ennis Cantor is owned and is not a free agent. Whereas John Henson, only 5.2% of leagues, he's owned in. And then obviously a bunch of 100%. You can check your schedule for your games for the upcoming week. Obviously, our week goes from the 29th until November 2nd. So our game limit for this first matchup is 26 games and not 30 as usual. As well as uh, you can go into trading block here. And in the trade block, uh, if you take a look at it, you can edit your own trade block. And basically it tells you if somebody's interested in your players, who they're not interested in. And you can let other people know who you're interested in. So it uh, helps get trades going. And here I see Rakesh, he's interested in Joe Johnson. And uh, I've got him on my trade block right now. You can set your untouchables, your team needs, all that stuff there. As well as uh, obviously add players. Um, under here, you can see there's still a bunch of good players uh, that haven't been picked up yet. So, yeah, we'll see uh, as the regular season gets started who uh, who steps up and who gets picked up. Um, so let's go back to my team, and this is where you can adjust your lineup. Again, um, normally it's 30 game limit, but uh, there's a strategy obviously involved in it, as where you basically play 29 games on the day before the last day. And yeah, yeah, sure, I'm making a video. <laughs> make a video. Yeah. So, yes. Okay, uh, continue. Uh, do you have something important? Oh, okay. Fucking <laughs> just ruined my video. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm just going to continue. Okay. Great. Okay. Right. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, um, yeah. Continuing along now. I'm going to go ahead and adjust my lineup. So, I'm going to go back to stats here. Uh, you don't have to, but that's just the main page. So under current, this is the 29th. So I've got only, this tells you who's playing on that day. So I've only got Oladipo and Blake Griffin playing. So that's two games. <laughs> and I'll go to Wednesday. And I've got a whole bunch of guys playing. But I can uh, only play 12. Or I can only play 10 in one day. So basically, I'm trying to get it so that by Saturday, November 2nd, which is the second last day of the week, I'll have played 25 games so that on the Sunday, I can go over the limit and play all my games for Sunday. So I'm going to take a look and uh, see who I want to move, who I don't want to move. See uh, Wilson Chandler. This means, this little indication here with the star means there's some new news on this guy. And uh, basically he's out with a hamstring injury right now. So I'm going to leave him on the bench. Um, 
Elias Silva right now, he says it looks like he's not really ready to come back. He's doubtful for the start of the season, so I'm going to move him to my bench as well. Westbrook is obviously still injured. So I'm going to go ahead and submit it like this. So that's a total of nine games, plus the two that I had from the 29th. So two and nine is 11. Moving on to Thursday, I've only got one game here, Blake Griffin. So I'll leave that. That's 12. Friday, uh, I've got a whole bunch of games as well here. So uh, I guess this really comes down to what I need, but basically I'm gonna I'm gonna bet on Elias Silva coming back. I can always adjust this later, but I'm gonna for now put Elias Silva in here in place of John Henson because Elias Silva is a better player. Not saying it. John Henson's not bad. If anybody's got some deals out there, I'm uh, willing to listen. But that's another 10 games. So I've got 2 plus 9 is 11. Plus 1 is 12. Plus 10 is 22. So then comes Saturday. So I want to get to 25 games on this day. So basically, i got to pick a couple guys that I want to sit. So Henson, Henson will hit the bench, and see I got some really good players on this day, so I'm at 22, so I want to play 3, but if I want to play all of these guys on this day, I can go back and remove 2 games from before. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm not going to play Elias Silva on this day against Boston. So I'm, like, I'm just going back and changing that. So that's one game adjusted. <laughs> and I'm going to take a look back at uh, previous days as well. And on this day, I'm going to go ahead and take John Henson. No, actually, I'll, I'll leave John Henson here. But I will rest. I'll rest another player. Oh man, I've only got good players. I don't know who to rest. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and make an executive decision and say I don't expect Joe Johnson to have a huge game against Cleveland. So I will move Joe Johnson to my bench. So. Now I'll uh, count this up again. I've got two plus eight games here. And so two plus eight is 10. One is 11. Plus nine is 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. So I've got 25 games now on the Saturday. Meaning, on Sunday, because so for just this week, it's a 26-game limit. So for the Sunday, I will get all my games. So even though Westbrook, he's injured, I'm still going to stick him in here in case he decides to make a surprise start. And all the rest of these guys will be in here. So I got 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30 games played for the week. So that's how you uh, basically cheat the system kind of thing and get over the game limit. So again, just this week, it's a 26-game limit. After this, it'll be 30 again. So there we go. That's all you got to do. My lineup set for the whole week. Um, I can obviously come back and make adjustments if I need to based on if people actually sit or if they play. And uh, right in here, you can check the box score for your matchup. Or here's another way. You can go to scoreboard. And you can take a look at the matchups for everybody. Again, lineups lock at the start of the first game of the day. Not your first game, but the first NBA game of the day. So I click full box score here for my matchup against Rakesh, which will be the first week. And this will tell you, it says games limit, current, max. So I played zero of my 26 available games. Matchup acquisition, I can make three acquisitions per matchup from free agency. And this will basically tell me how my guys are doing in this day and uh, ESPN updates it live so as it's happening it'll be adjusted keep an eye these are times are in eastern time so three hours ahead of us <coughs>
So really, the lineups will lock at 4 o'clock on Tuesday. And if you click the total button, it'll show you everyone's total stats for that week, like each player's. You'll uh, and how many games they have that week, so you'll kind of get a better idea once the uh, season starts. So that's all I got for you. And uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to let me know. Peace.